Hello everybody, it's Jen. Welcome back to my channel. Thanks for joining me today. I'm going to be making a card using pink and main Life is a Circus. This is an adorable stamp set. The whole time I was making this card, I was singing the Greatest Showman soundtrack to myself. So I colored up our little showmaster here in the same colors from the character in the movie. I'm starting out with the skin tones. I'm using Spectrum Noirs today. The last video that I did with the Spectrum Noir markers had a lot of comments saying that you enjoyed seeing me color with these markers, so I thought I would bring them back again today. So for the skin tone, I'm using TN2, FS2, and FS1. This is kind of my go-to skin tone when using Spectrum Noirs. I just want to apologize a little bit here for the lighting. For some reason, I didn't do anything different than I normally do, but it's a little bit overexposed. So I'm not sure why that happened, but it will kind of stop once I get more color onto the images here. So I'm creating a white little blouse and bow tie and gloves for our little showmaster here. I'm using IG3 as my darkest and IG1 and blending that out with a colorless blender. Then I'm going to move on to the darker black color. First there I just realized that I had missed the inside of his mouth so I went back and did that with the same skin tones that I used for the face. So I just mapped out my darkest areas there with the IG5 and now I'm coming in with my darkest marker which is the IG9. My midtone will be the IG7. Just creating some shadows underneath his jacket and then on the inner sides of his legs and then down towards his shoes where they kind of come in a little bit and then on the back sides of the shoes. I'm going to blend that in with my IG5, which is my lightest, and now I'm going to work on the lapel of his jacket. This is a very tiny spot, so I'm just using the IG9 sparingly, as well as the IG7, and then blending that out with the IG5. Next, I'll move on to his top hat. So I'm going to have the darkest shading around the back of his head coming up through the front. And because I want this to look rounded, I'm also going to do the sides of the top hat. So again, just coming in with my lightest marker. I do like to use the lightest marker when I'm doing blending with Spectrum Noirs, especially if I'm using a dark color combination. I find that wetting the paper just really helps with the blending. So now I'm coming in with my darkest marker here, just mapping this out trying to make sure I'm going as close to the lines as possible. But with the Spectrum Noirs, they do spread a little bit, so you just want to be really careful. Coming back in now with the midtone, the IG7, just going to blend that in, leaving just a little bit of area left for the highlight. This will almost make his hat look a little shiny and round out the image. I also wanted to color his band on his hat. Now I did have some bleeding into that area, so I ended up going over with the IG5 around the band, bringing it in a little bit on the sides, and then blending that out with the lightest marker. I wanted his little microphone here to be like a silver color, so I'm using the same markers, just using less of the darker colors. For his little top coat, I'm going to be coloring it in red, so I'm using the DR7, DR5, and DR1. The DR7 is the darkest color. It's going to be quite dark by his coattails there, by his legs, so I'm using quite a bit of that color there, and then using it more sparingly around the other parts of the image. I did go out of the line there a little bit to the right-hand side of the bottom of his coat, but I will be able to fix that up with my colorless blender. You just have to be really careful with the reds because they bleed so easily. 
I'm also going to color the little hoop that has our lion flying through in the red as well. So I'm just mapping out my darkest colors here. So I want to make sure that I'm using that around where his mane is underneath his body there and then around the sides of the bottom just so that it looks a little bit rounded as well. Now I grabbed the wrong marker. I'm actually using the DR1 here. I am going to realize that. And then I'm coming back in now with my midtone, the DR5, to fix that up. It's a good thing I picked up the lightest marker and not the darkest. So just finishing that off with my lightest color to give it a little bit of a highlight. Once I get the reds done, I'm going to move on to the hair of our little showman here. So I'm using GB10 and GB9 for his hair. I'm also using these colors for the mane of the lion, and I'll bring in the GB8 for the lion mane. I don't use the GB8 for the hair on our little showman here because it's such a tiny image, the two color blend was enough. I realized I forgot his mustache, so I came back in and quickly did that, and that just gives him the sweetest little look now that that's complete. So using the mid-tone, I'm just going back over the darkest areas, bringing that color out a little bit more, leaving just a little bit of area, and again, I grabbed the wrong marker, so this turns out to be a little darker than I wanted to this time. I grabbed my darkest marker instead of the lightest, but I was able to fix that with little issue. So I'm going to bring in my colorless blender now and just fix up those little areas. I decided that seeing I had that little mistake, I wanted to go back over this image completely one more time. So I'm coming back in with the GB10 and then I will blend that out with the mid-tone and then again use the lightest marker. Making sure to remember to get the little tip of his tail as well in these colors so it matches his mane. So now we're going to move on to the body of our little lion here. So I'm using GB7, GB4, and GB1. Laying that GB7 down around the side of his face where his little mane is and also underneath his muzzle. It's going to be quite a bit darker on his lower body because his mane is going to cast a shadow. So I just made sure to add a lot of that darker marker down there. Coming in now with the GB4, extending that color, really blending that out. These colors blend very well together, so it's not challenging at all to get them to blend smoothly. He's looking so cute after being all colored up. I will come back and do the nose here once I do their mouths with the FS6. I will go back and do that a couple of times just to darken up their tongues. But right now I'm coming in with a black gel pen. I did their eyes and then I did the little lion's nose. And now I'm bringing in a white gel pen to do some detailing. I wanted to add some dots to the little microphone and then some highlights to the images. I thought it would be cute to add some curly hair to our lion mane. And then just one final detail down the post of the little hoop. So for the sentiment, I'm using You're the Greatest Friend on Earth, which I absolutely love. I just stamped that out with my VersaFine Black Onyx ink, and I'm using an MFT double fishtail banner die here to cut out the sentiment. So that's complete. I'm going to move on to the paper for my card. I'm using a really old paper pad. This is Fine and Dandy by Dear Lizzie trying to use up some of my older paper stash. So I'm using this striped pattern paper on the back. I cut that out with a Lawn Fawn stitched rectangle die. And then I cut out a piece of this polka dot paper with a stitched oval die. And I'm just adding some fun foam to the back of this so it will be a bit raised off of our card panel. So that's going to be the focal spot for our images. 
I'm going to use a tiny bit of the fun foam that I had left out from die cutting the oval. I knew that the ends of the banner were going to overhang. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm losing my voice. We're going to overhang off of the oval, so I wanted to add a little bit of dimension to either side. Just going to place my images here where I sort of want them to be, and then I'm going to get this banner in place because I am going to have them standing on the banner to ground them. So today I'm using some Tombow Mono Aqua glue. This is kind of my backup glue, my Nouveau Deluxe Adhesive was clogged yet again. I need to get a new bottle. So I'm using the backup, which this is fine. It's a little bit more affordable and I just kind of keep it around for times like this when I need it. So I'm going to place my little lion down here first. And then I'm going to add our showman here to the side and I want his hand to kind of be on the lion mane just to connect them. Once I get that done, I'm going to work on the inside of the card and I'm bringing in this stamp set from Neat and Tangled called So Many Sentiments. This is probably my favorite sentiment stamp. And I'm using the sentiment, thanks for being there for me. I did color up the little popcorn and the ticket that comes in the stamp set to include on the inside of my card. Really love how that just brings the outside element into the inside of the card, but of course I did get my finger into the VersaFine ink. So I just cleaned that up with my white eraser. And that's the card for today. So I hope you enjoyed. Have a great day everyone. And I will see you really soon in the next video. Take care and have a fabulous day. Bye!